Shalom. I'm your brother Jeremiah from the branch of GMS South Carolina Millens. And before we start off, all praise, honor, and glory belongs to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Raka Kodash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who teach and who rule well. And Shalom unto you, hopeful elect. Scattered abroad throughout the four corners of the earth. Shalom. You don't have forever and a day to come and serve the Lord. And, you know, I got this video queued up. This lesson from the elder Manat Zakba. Subscribe to his channel, GMS South Carolina 08. And pretty much dealing with the mindset of Jake. Thinking that they have forever when it comes to repenting. Which when it comes to turning back to Yahweh Bashim Shai, you know, as you can see in the title of the video, it says, when I'm ready to turn my life around, then will I listen? And Jake don't understand, you know, he lacked that understanding that there's a famine of the word that's about to hit, man. So it is very important that you get the word of the Lord here and now, man. Okay. And, and Jake also lacks that understanding that the Lord is speaking through the mouths of his prophets, man. Okay? Through the men that you see before you, starting with the head apostles, the head uh, bishops, on down to men that have entered into those men's labors, man. Okay? And, but if Jake don't understand it now, they will in the times to come, man. You know? But reading this real quick before I play the video, this is Amos. Chapter 8 and verse 11. Behold, the days come. All right. And that's pertaining unto future prophecy, man. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So there's a literal famine. Of hearing the words of the Lord, Yahweh Shema Shai, that's about to hit, man. These are the times that we're in, man. All right, and that's why you see Sleazy E, the so called white man, the devil, starting with the wicked elite, trying to regulate the internet, man. All right, trying to deem the Bible as hate speech, man. Okay, trying to protect, you know, the, the, the Momo community, trying to protect, you know, the small hatters because. When we go out there on the highways and the byways through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Shemal Shai, this truth is revealing everything, man. Okay? And it's to the point to where, you know, this truth is reaching out to the four corners of the earth, you know, tying it to prophecy as well. Matthew 24 and 14. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached throughout all the world, man. All right? And this word is reaching unto. Who it needs to reach to, pertaining unto the hopeful elect of Yahweh Bashim Shai, who will hear this word and turn back, repent to Yahweh Bashim Shai and be sealed, man. Okay? But for two third niggas, man. Okay? Niggas that think they have forever and a day to turn back to the Lord, they can live their life however way they want to live it. Okay? They're about to receive. The judgments that the Lord is bringing here to the planet Earth, man. All right, because they didn't take the warning that Yahweh Shemal Shai has been given to the house of Israel seriously, man. All right, this is Amos 8 and 12. It says, and they shall wander from sea to sea. And this is pertaining unto two thirds of the house of Israel, man. All right, when all the judgments, when all the calamities begin to unfold, man. It says, and they shall wander from sea to sea, and from north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, Yahweh Shemel Shai, and shall not find it. Okay? It's going to be a lack of hearing the word of Yahweh Shemel Shai here in these latter days, man. And that's why the scriptures give us the important warning here in Isaiah 55 and verse 6 it says seek ye the lord yahweh shimei while he may be found 
call ye upon him while he is near. And this is showing you that it's going to be a time to where you're not going to be able to seek the Lord, man. Okay, you're not going to be able to inquire to the prophets, the men that Yahabah Shemal Shai has set up. You know, because the Lord is ultimately going to remove them, man. All right, the Lord going to uh, uh, shut up our mouths, you know, as it pertains to prophecy here in Ezekiel, the third chapter, man. All right, this is Ezekiel chapter three. And um, in verse 26, it says, and I will make thy tongue to cleave to the roof of thy mouth that thou shalt be dumb. And a dumb person is a person that cannot speak. It says, and shall not be to them a reprover, for they are a rebellious house. And that's when the Lord ultimately has sealed up his hopeful elect. And you two-thirds, hey, you also have already heard the word, but, you know, you're not hearkening to the word. Hey, you're going to be sealed for judgment, man. Because the Lord, <clears throat> you know, he did make it, you know, uh, his business, you know, to give that warning Unto all the house of Israel, man. Ezekiel 3 and 17, it says, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman. A watchman is a prophet. Unto the house of Israel, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans of today. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. So the warning was given by Yahweh by Hashem Shai to the house of Israel through what? The mouths of his prophets, man. Okay. Hebrew. Hebrews chapter 1 and verse 1. It says, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, who at sun-dry times and in diverse manners, spake in times past unto the fathers by the prophets. All right. So well before the, the prophecy begins to unfold, the Lord will send out his prophets to give that warning, man, all right, and these are the men who have true understanding of the word of the Lord, these are the ones that Yahweh Shemel Shai is dealing with, man, okay, Amos 3 and 7, surely the Lord Yahweh Shemel Shai will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets, that's who the Lord deals with, man, when it concerns his word, man, all right, and those men, they will go out and give that warning unto the house of Israel. Okay? And for the ones who obtain that word and, and repent to Yahweh Shemel Shai, hey, the Lord shows mercy on them, man. The Lord spares them. All right? Which we know according, you know, to Zechariah 13 and 8, two, two parts, the majority of our nation is going to be cut off and die. Because those are the ones who didn't hearken unto the word of Yahweh Shem Shai. It's not negotiable. Alright? It's not negotiable when it when it pertains to repenting, which means to turn back to Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, Salakia. You know, it's not a negotiation, man. Okay? You either turn back, you either repent to Yahweh Shem Shai or die. Simple as that, man. All right, Isaiah 55 and 7, let the wicked, which is a wicked Israelite, you know, Israelite within his sins, let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts and let him return unto Yahweh Shemel Shai, repent, and he will have mercy upon him and to our power for he will abundantly pardon. So we serve a merciful power. All right, and the Lord is giving that warning. You know, uh, uh, day and night, man, when it pertains to, you know, this prophecy right here. Isaiah 62 and 6. I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, pertaining unto the house of Israel. You know, the Lord set up his watchmen, his prophets, unto the house of Israel. All right, because Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. It says, which shall never hold their peace, day nor night. So the, the warning. Okay, the sighing and the crying, all right, by the true men of the Lord is going out day and night, all right, from brothers all across the four corners of the earth, man, all right, here in Babylon, the great America, 
and across the waters, man. All right, this warning is going out day and night. Okay, so there's not going to be no excuse. It says, Ye that make mention of the Lord, Yahweh Shemel Shai, keep not silence. So pretend unto the prophets, we've been commanded to keep not silence, man. That's why you see brothers throughout the, the wee hours of the, of the night, all right, throughout the day, okay, uh, going live, uploading video epistles. That, that's an example of the watchmen, the prophets, keeping not silence, man, giving that warning day and night, man. It says, verse 7, and give him no rest till he establish, until he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth, man. And that's pertaining unto the Heavenly Father, man. We're supposed to be continually sighing and crying, man. And the hopeful elect men are sighing and crying, man. Starting with the head, elder apostles, and elder bishops on down a great millstone, man. All right? And men that come in the light, you know, uh, like mine, you know, the same spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? We're sighing and crying unto Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? But for these two-thirds, man, they're, they're caught up, they're tied up into the world. You know, they're too busy chasing the bag, you know, serving mammon, okay? And, you know, not knowing that the judgments that's written, you know, that's forespoken within this book, in the word of the Lord, is about to hit them, man, okay? But one thing that they can't say is that they wasn't warned, man, and they didn't know. So playing this video real quick. All the drug movies and stuff, then what do you do? You aspire to be just like it, trying to get that money, before you know you wind up locked up in prison. See? That prison, that hip, what is it called, uh, prison pipeline? What? I forget what it's called. I can't really say it, but it's, it's something like a prison pipeline. Somebody know what I'm talking about. You know, but that, that music, you see, then you walk around and you, you mimic all the behaviors you see on TV. Throwing up inside, doing all that. Y'all love crap from 252, ladies. You got that when you get it. It's all good. We won't lie. We lie. We just lie. We preaching the gospel of the kingdom, though. We preaching the gospel. Y'all know y'all heard about it. We Israelites. Y'all people Israelites, right? Yeah. Say, bro. He said, wait, wait, wait. Say that to the people. He said, when he read it, change his life. Mindset of Jake, man. You know they're they're pretty much lost, man. You know that ultimately we know according to the Spirit. You know according to uh, Romans uh, eleven and seven, which I'll, I'll pull that real quick. Uh, this is the book of Romans, chapter eleven and verse seven. It says, "What then? Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, which." You know, Israel, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans of the day, you know, we're ultimately seeking after the truth, you know, which will lead unto salvation. It says, but the election have obtained it and the rest were blinded. And, you know, that's the understanding that we have. Only the hopeful elect can obtain, you know, the true wisdom and knowledge of Yahweh Hashem Shai. But pertaining unto the rest, the two-thirds of the house of Israel... They are spiritually blinded, man. Okay, you know, they are, you know, walking amongst the congregation, you know, of the dead, you know, as it pertains 
um, in Proverbs chapter 21 and uh, verse 16, it says, The man that wandered out of the way of understanding, that was a clear-cut example. You know, Jake throwing up his gang signs, saying that when he ready to turn my life around, then will I listen. You know, going into, you know, wherever little stores, you know, wherever they're going to do out there, at, you know, at the beach, man. You know, that was a clear-cut example of a man wandering out of the way of understanding, man. All right, not knowing that those are the prophets of Yahweh Bashim al Shai. It says, the man that wandered out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. And that was an example of the congregation of the dead, you know, dead from the neck up. You know, they're, they're alive, you know, they're walking, they're breathing, you know, they're speaking. But uh, spiritually, you know, from the, from the neck up, uh, they are in the congregation of the dead, man. All right, spiritual walking dead. All right, this is Romans 11 and 8. It says, according as it is written, and it's written in Isaiah the 6th chapter, Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh have given them the spirit of slumber. So two-thirds got a heavy spirit of slumber, man. All right, and that's why the day of the Lord, you know, these judgments of Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh you know, is going to catch them like a thief in the night. You know, even, you know, as it pertains into the signs, you know, the signs of the times, you know, we got the, the solar eclipse that's about to happen today. You know, Jake has no understanding that that's indicating that we're at the end, man. All right, that that's indicating that Yahweh is about to make his second return. You know, it says, eyes that they should not see and ears that they should not hear unto this day. So, you know, ultimately two thirds ain't going to receive it, man. They're spiritually blinded, spiritually deaf unto this truth. And also, you know, they're just, they're just lost, man. All right, lost in the sauce. Second Corinthians chapter four and verse three. But if our gospel, all right, this good news, all right, this truth, and if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. So Jake is just lost out here, man. Okay, Sirach chapter five and verse seven, or Ecclesiasticus in the Apocrypha five and verse seven. Make no tarrying. To turn to the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, and to tarry means to wait, man. You know, you see Jake in his last adaisical state of mind, you know, thinking that they could just live and, and be however they want. You know, not knowing that, hey, their time is about to expire, man. Okay, prophecy about to be fulfilled, man, with, whether they believe, whether they hearken or not, man. All right, it says, make no tarrying to turn to the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, and put not off. From day to day, that's the point, man. Put not off from day to day, man. All right, the, the judgments of the Lord can can hit you uh, in the next hour, all right, in the next second, man. Okay, you don't have forever in a day. It says, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord, Yahweh Shema Shai, come forth. And suddenly that's going to catch you off guard. All right, the judgment, the, the day of the Lord is about to hit Jake. Like a thief in the night, man. Okay? For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord, Yahweh Shemel Shai, come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. And that's what's about to happen to two thirds of Jake, man, who don't hearken, man. All right? They're about to perish, man. All right? They're about to be destroyed. Okay? And two thirds, they're very secure. Here in Babylon, the great America, man. All right. And this place is about to be turned upside down, man. According to prophecy. All right. You know, uh, oh, daughter of Babylon, who art to be destroyed. This place is already written, you know, already forespoken to be destroyed, man. Okay. And you're supposed to be a uh, rise ye and depart, Micah 2 and 10, man. Okay. Depart from this place uh, mentally and turn spiritually, man. And we're turning back to Yahweh Shem Shah. Okay? But, um, you know, getting one more precept and I'll end it. Uh, this is the book of Ezekiel. Um, this is the book of Ezekiel, chapter, chapter 2, and um, verse 5. And you could also read it in Ezekiel 33 and uh, verse 33. 
Uh, this is Ezekiel 2 and 5. It says, And they, pertaining to the house of Israel, two thirds, and they, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear, for they are a rebellious house, yet shall know that there hath been a prophet among them. And, you know, them Jakes right there and all the other Jakes that have heard the word of Yahweh Shemel Shai and didn't hearken. And they're going to understand that the true men of the Lord were out there speaking to them, man. The Lord was speaking to them through his men, okay? And when these prophecies begin to be fulfilled, they're going to understand that we were the true men of the Lord, man. That we are the true men of the Lord, man. So, Lord, will this is edifying through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Shem Shai. I'm going to end off by giving all praises unto Yahweh Shem Shai. Call Hilayim La, Yahweh Bahasham. Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Raka Kodash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who teach and who rule well. And Shalom unto you, hopeful elect. Shalom.